Let's talk about Jack of All Trades. So for people that do not know what this is, it was introduced during Garden Games, which is going on right now. Jack of All Trades is a medal that you can get in the uh, competitive slash training slash recreational playlist that basically is there just to be a triumph, essentially. The reason I say it's just a triumph is because for some reason, point-wise, this is terrible. It It's just terrible. You get Virtuoso and Master of Arms along the way, and that is decent points, but then finishing off to get Jack of All Trades is completely not worth it points-wise. You can actually just do a Glaive combo and get more points than this, which is kind of a joke, in my opinion. This should be worth a metric f ton. The reason I say that is because to get this medal slash triumph, you need, count it, 18 kills in a row. But that's not all. You don't just need 18 kills in a row consecutively, rapidly. You need 18 kills and they have to be in six different ways along the way, divided by three. So you have to get a total of three grenade kills, three melee kills, three super kills, three kinetic kills, three energy kills, and three power weapon kills. Oh, did I mention that you can't just interchange between the two? You have to do nine of one bracket and then nine of the other bracket. For example, for Master of Arms, you need three kinetic kills, three energy kills, and three power kills. You have to do this consecutively, and you can't do like, let's say, three kinetic kills, and then you go to three grenade kills to go towards Virtuoso. You have to do one bracket of either gun kills or one bracket of ability kills, and then do the other bracket. So essentially, you can't even switch up on the fly. You have to make sure that you're getting 18 kills, and you're going to go 3-3-3, three, 3-3-3, three, 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 and there's no in-between. So you can't interchange. You have to pick one. You have to get a bunch of ads all together. You have to make sure that you don't kill, like, let's say you have a group of, like, 12 ads. You got to make sure that your super, which you need three kills of, doesn't kill the entire wave, because that will screw you over. <laughs> so the only reason you're doing this is probably just to uh, get the triumph done, you know, for, like, completionist sake or whatever. Uh, triumph completionist in the game. So that's what the video is really about. I'm just going to tell you how it works, and then I'm going to give you suggestions on how to do it or where to do it. So, my first personal suggestion, the way I did it, was I always started with weapon kills first. Why? Because weapon kills you can at least control for the most part. You know, you can put on fast-paced, rapid-hit kill weapons such as, let's say, an SMG, maybe a pulse rifle, a machine gun, and the bullets will just hit one single target most of the time, so you don't have to worry about killing, you know, let's say five targets instead of three with uh with your power weapon so like don't use rockets for example don't use gls that kind of stuff because it'll screw you over in the end so i start with weapons because they're by far the easiest to start with you know you start with, you can just do it like three kinetic or three power and then go from there so typically i would do like power first then i would go to energy then i do kinetic but you could just do any of the three weapon choices in whatever order you want as long as you just get three and then move on quickly to the next one then after that you would go on abilities so I personally started with melees because you just, you know, you punch things in the face three times and you're good. Then I would throw a grenade, make sure it doesn't like engulf literally all of the ads in it. So I would say don't use something like a vortex grenade that would suck all the enemies in. Use a grenade that kind of kills the enemies where you throw it, but doesn't affect enemies that may be a couple of feet away from you and doesn't suck them in. And then finally, you would use your super, you know, like a, a thunder crash, uh, maybe golden gun. You could use Nova Bomb. I would not use anything like Dawnblade because it's super slow to throw. It might not kill the target. It might like hit their pinky toe and they survive. It's just super inconsistent. I would not do that. You could use Well of Radiance and Ward of Dawn, by the way. As long as you're in the well or you have the Weapons of Light buff from Ward of Dawn, you will get the Let There Be Light medal, which is right here on the screen, and it'll count as a super kill. So that's a kind of little... Uh, neat interaction there where you don't have to worry about killing too many things with your super again you can go in whatever order you want for abilities you can start with super first then go grenade melee or whatever you want as long as you get the nine weapon kills or ability kills first and then switch to the other bracket and do the same thing and don't interchange between them in the middle of your chain you'll be fine and if you do this you get jack of all trades now overall you probably need a very good map to do this and to get the metal done as well as probably needing two friends or teammates to do this with you because chances are if you load this in with you know like blueberries just uh lfg teammates they will probably steal your kills and screw up your chain so ideally you want to go in either by yourself in like a non-match made pool or take two friends with you that'll just kind of like stand there and watch you kill everything 
Now, as far as strikes go, there's some you're just going to want to avoid because, like, the, the distribution of enemies in areas is just terrible. For example, Scarlet Keep, terrible. There's, like, enemies here and there, but none of them are, are ever, like, super, super clumped up together, except for maybe the bridge section. But even then, there might not be enough to go around uh, with, you know, like, with ogres beaming you from a distance and acolytes running away, sniping you. So I don't recommend Scarlet Keep. I also don't recommend any of the Nessus Strikes. Same thing, really. There's some areas where there's, uh, a, like, a decent amount of enemies, but realistically, you're just, like, praying to RNG that they all, like, bunch up together and you have enough there. So I would just avoid them entirely. Now, you have things like Corrupted and the Throne World Strikes, where there are a ton of enemies in certain parts, and you can take advantage of this. For example, in the Light Blade, there's that gondola part where there's a bunch of Thrall coming at you at the end before you get off the boat. If you go after them by yourself, you do have plenty of them to kill to get your Jack of All Trades done. The Cosmodrome Strikes are also very, very good for you trying to get this done because all of them have really, really good enemy density. You have Disgraced, which has like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of enemies where you can easily pull off a Jack of All Trades on. You have the Warsat Fallen Saber Strike where the beginning section with the Warsat summons a F ton of enemies at you as you're sitting in the Warsat. So that's a good potential there as well. And finally, you have Devil's Lair, which probably has the most enemies out of all three Cosmodrome Strikes. It has that scan room with three waves of enemies. There's a ton of enemies there. Then there's the, that field with the walker and the two brigs. And finally, there's the boss room with, a, again, a metric F ton of enemies. Plenty for you to kill, especially with the boss being, uh, you know, like a, like a little sponge. It doesn't really hurt that much. You could lower him down health-wise and then summon a bunch of enemies and try to go ham and get your stuff done. So for this last suggestion, like I mentioned earlier with Corrupted, you could do this strike in the recreational playlist for like a lot of ads and not add density. And uh, there's a little thing you can do at the boss fight that would probably greatly help you nail down a jack of all trades because it gives you basically unlimited tries. The only issue with this is you would have to get it in the recreational playlist, which means just straight up RNG out of, you know, all the strikes in the game that you can get in that playlist. And then two, you have to bring, you know, two friends or two teammates, uh, two acquaintances, whatever it may be. You probably shouldn't go in by yourself because chances are the RNG teammates that you get or the blueberries will have no idea, you know, you're trying to get jack of all trades and they could potentially screw you over. So if you are struggling to get the triumph and you want to get it done for like completion's sake, just, you know, get two buddies, launch the recreational playlist and then just hope to get corrupted. But the general idea here will be is once you get to the boss, you're going to just start the boss fight. And then once the teleports to the right, like she always does, you just take advantage of all the Scions spawning and then wail on them with whatever combo that you want to go with. Additionally, you can also pop her shields and then she spawns more ads, I believe. So you can try to grab this relic first, pop her shield, and then go in on the wailing. Unfortunately, I can't show you here because I took literally like 90 minutes trying to get this strike in the recreational playlist and I couldn't get it. So we're just doing the regular strike. So right here, basically you would be getting your kills on the Scions. Obviously, if you're bringing two friends, they would not be doing exactly what this person is doing right now in front of you. So generally, you probably want to damage for maybe, let's say, one bar down because she'll summon more ads and, you know, you'll have like 15, 20, 25 enemies on the board all at once. And that should give you a very decent chance at getting your metal done. And then if you happen to mess up or something, you know, goes wrong that's not supposed to, you can easily just be like, oh, okay, well, um, Everybody, jump off the freaking map! And then you would wipe and then restart this uh, boss fight. Just rinse repeat the process until you get it. And there you go. Nice little easy trick with, you know, a couple of hoops to jump through. But it's better than nothing. So that would be your last resort. Hopefully this helps. Uh, I wish I could have got footage of me actually doing it. But the game literally would not give me the strike in Recreational. But that's the idea. Just like this. There you go. Kinetic. You can get energy, da 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 da, get heavy, da da da, switch the heavy, grenade, melee, and then super if I had it. That's it. Hopefully this helps uh, those completions out there, and uh, catch you guys in the next video.